In this video, we'll be doing three tests. The first test will be a low output test, and what I'll be using for that is a refrigerator. The second test will be an AC charging efficiency test. So it'll tell us how much energy is going into the battery when you charge it with the AC converter. And the third test is a high output test. So we'll be using bigger appliances like a washer and dryer and a space heater to get an idea of how efficient the power station runs on higher output appliances. Those are our three tests. We're doing these different tests because the inverter inside the power station has different efficiency depending on the load on the inverter. The smaller loads, like the fridge, and the larger loads, like the space heater, are going to use the power stored in the battery at a different efficiency. This is a refurbished model that I bought on eBay from Blue Eddy directly, so hopefully this will give you some insight into the actual capacity of a refurbished model. I just have it on a little dolly here, strapped down so I can move it around a little easier. Before we begin, I wanted to cover a few things so that we're all on the same page here. Number one, watt hours. Watt hours are a way to describe an amount of electricity. Watt hours equal watts times hours. So for example, one watt hour equals an appliance running at one watt for one hour. So now that we know that, we know that a kilowatt hour is a thousand watt hours. This should be all we need to know. Before we get started, I'm gonna top it up with grid power. Let's go ahead and start the test. To measure the output, we'll be using this meter. And as a load, we'll be using this refrigerator. It's a fridge on top, freezer on bottom. Pretty big. AC on. Fridge is turned on. Lights are on while the fridge is running, pulling 107 watts. It's looking like this is going to be an intermittent 100 watt load. A fridge like this should be a pretty standard use case, I would think. I'm going to let this run. We will check back every few hours. It's officially been two hours. We're at 90%. We've used 130 watt hours. We've been running for six and a half hours, and we're at 73%. 0.34 kilowatts. And there's the fan going on. Um, I haven't seen this yet today, but it's running 440 watts. We are at 0.465 kilowatt hours, and we're at 64% allegedly. It's been 10 and a half hours. We are at 49%. We have used 0.683 kilowatt hours. And fridge is working like normal. We gotta get a fridge check, right? Fridge check. Almost 14 hours in. Last check-in of the night. We're at 38% and we've used 0.818 kilowatt hours. Hopefully it lasts till the morning. See you then. Good morning. We're still going. All right. We've been running for 22 hours. We're now at 12%. And we have used 1.45 kilowatt hours. It's officially been 24 hours, one full day. And we have 5% left. We have used 1.138 kilowatt hours. 26 hours in, we're down to 1%. We've used 1.249 kilowatt hours. Still going. We hit zero, almost 27 hours of fridge running. AC turned off automatically, 1.314 kilowatt hours used directly into the fridge. Good job, battery, valiant effort. In test number one, our consumption was 1.34 kilowatt hours and the advertised capacity of our battery is 2.048 kilowatt hours. So we do consumption divided by rated capacity. And so we can convert those to watt hours and divide them. And that equals zero. 0.64 and we get 64% efficiency. Now on to the next test. Okay, our next test will be to see how much energy it takes to charge this with grid power. What we'll do, we'll put this on the wall, plug this AC charger into here, and we'll see how much energy it takes to go from zero to 100%. Now, even though it's rated for 2000 watt hours, this charging session, of course, won't be 100% efficient because we're converting AC to DC power through this box. What I hope to find out here is a little bit more information on the capacity of the battery and the health of the battery in the refurbished model. If it takes more than two kilowatt hours to charge it up, then I know that it probably has that real capacity of 2000 watt hours. I haven't done much research on this, but I think we can expect an efficiency of 85 to 90% with the adapter here. It should take 10 to 20% more energy than the battery can hold to charge it. So we'll see. 0%. We are putting in 440 watts. And this says it is drawing 500 watts. Should take five or six hours to charge. We'll check back in a little bit. Just for the record, 
I don't really ever plan to charge that thing with grid power because I plan to use these as much as possible. Like that's the whole point. It's the whole reason I got the machine so I can use solar power in a, in a wider variety of circumstances. I've charged it a few times now and it seems to work great as long as the sun's out. Here in Illinois in the winter, sunny days are few and far between. But right now we're really lucky. It's so magical. All right, it's been an hour and a half, 39%. 0.824 kilowatt hours used. It's been about three hours, 69%. 1.5 kilowatt hours. Looking good. It's been four hours, we're at 94%. Ooh. We have used 2.067 kilowatt hours. Interesting. So we're already over our rated capacity, but we expected that. We just hit 100. Four hours and 10 minutes, four and 15. Pretty quick. 2.24 kilowatt hours. 100%. Green light and everything. Test two. It took 2.240 kilowatt hours to charge the battery. And again, our rated capacity is 2.048 kilowatt hours. And once again, we divide our consumption by our rated capacity, and that gets us 1.094. And then we take the inverse of that, and we end up with 91.4% efficiency. So that tells us that the AC to DC charger is 91.4% efficient if our capacity is actually what they say it is. It's probably a little less than this because it's a refurbished unit. But this at least gives us an idea. And for our final test, we're gonna do some laundry. I'm hoping for this to be like a heavy load test. See if it's any more efficient than like a small load like the fridge. Here we go, laundry time. AC on, normal load. It's going. We'll check back in a little bit. Whole load of laundry only used 0 0.075 kilowatt hours. Pretty efficient washer. Gotta hand it to it. That's a good 500 watts, 600. Oh yeah! One load of laundry washed and dried, and we've used 0.25 kilowatt hours, and we're at 84%. Got another load to do, so I'm gonna run that. That's two loads of laundry done. 0.495 kilowatt hours, cool, 69%. I'm gonna just try as many high powered items as I can to try to get this down to zero by the end of the night. All right, our last item in the high output test is none other but the space heater. Probably should have busted this out from the beginning, but oh well. It's 1500 watts, so should get the job done pretty quick. Sixteen hundred watts, fifteen. Looks like it's gonna stay around fourteen hundred. We'll check back soon. Ooh. 1.754 kilowatt hours, that's pretty good. That's what? That's like 85% efficient. Larger appliances like washer and dryer, kitchen appliances, and space heaters, you're gonna get better efficiency for sure. Hopefully this answers some questions about the capacity of a refurbished unit. Everything that I've tried on it works so far. Seems like the battery's not severely degraded in any way. Maybe a few percent, like if it is, it's hard to tell. So long term, we'll see how it goes. But for now, I would recommend going the refurbished route if you wanna save a couple hundred bucks. To buy a new was like 1700 1800 bucks and i got it used through the company full warranty and everything for 1300 so i thought that was pretty good that basically paid for my solar panels which is cool but yeah seems like the capacity is there if you want to see any other tests with this let me know if you made it this far thanks for watching hope it was helpful catch you guys next week make it charge faster kids